After ten days, Grace Dent left I'm a Celebrity. Grace left the jungle for medical reasons, according to a program representative, not long after her unwell look raised questions. The 50-year-old food critic has had difficulties since coming to camp and made a threat to leave the program last week. Unfortunately, Grace Dent has left the show on medical grounds, ITV said in a statement on Monday. Both her fellow celebrities and viewers will miss her. She has been a great campmate. On Monday's episode, Grace was scheduled to participate in a Bush Tucker trial. However, she has been substituted by a different campmate. Her unexpected departure from the jungle comes after fans expressed their concerns about her appearance on social media, with one even saying they didn't recognize the often glitzy and effervescent Master Chef star. The restaurant reviewer has previously discussed her stringent diet, acknowledging that she just tries to keep a balanced diet, but I have to monitor every day how much food I have to eat for work, how many restaurants I have to go to. A few weeks before her entry into the jungle, Grace said in an interview with Wales Online, I don't think I suit skinny. I immediately appear sick. I'm a rather voluptuous, curvaceous person. I gain weight easily, so I have to watch what I eat extremely carefully. My family is made up entirely of individuals that are naturally between a size 16 and 18 in terms of size. That's how all the women in my family looked. However, I'm aware that I quit working out when I gain weight. I get depressed the moment I quit working out. After that, my health deteriorates and I run out of energy. Like practically other women, I have been obsessed with health since I was nine years old. I have to pay close attention to what I consume. Regarding the cuisine in the bush, Grace acknowledged that even a culinary expert such as herself would find it difficult to season food without an abundance of herbs and spices. Everything is giving me a genuine feeling of dread, the woman stated, but because I work as a restaurant reviewer, I usually eat four or five fancy dinners out every week, so I'm particularly afraid of being extremely hungry. She went on, foreshadowing what lay ahead for her in the jungle. I'm afraid that I will be put through an even worse eating trial than I have experienced in upscale restaurants. I anticipate writing stiff columns about the food in the jungle when I emerge. Will I prepare food there? Sure, I can cook, but not in the traditional sense of the word, that is, not in the jungle. Since herbs and spices are what make food, I won't be using any of them. If there are no spices, I'm not sure how you're going to make an alligator's foot taste good. I am already picturing the dinner I will have as soon as I leave. I'm going to a pretty classy restaurant, where I'll eat something nice and wear a beautiful dress. Grace continued, discussing her primary goal of entering the competition, saying, I'm just determined not to go out first, and I would be overjoyed if I could go a good distance. I don't want this program to change the course of my life after I graduate. This is such a terrific task, but I don't want anything changed at all. It's going to be enjoyable. Grace's performance in the first group trial last week left fans unimpressed, with some saying she couldn't give a F asterisk 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 about the challenge. Grace seemed bored during the trial, which went by the name Locker Shocker, complaining that she couldn't find the keys to access her locker. Viewers, however, felt that Grace was being boring because she made no attempt at all, even after witnessing her efforts. Some others conjectured that she might be deliberately pretending not to be upset in order to avoid taking on the next Bush Tucker trial. The people chose her to participate in Friday's trial, the Touchdown of Terror, when she faced off against Nella Rose and ended up with an ear piercing. In the Touchdown of Terror trial, the food critic faced up against the 26-year-old YouTuber. Their coaches had to decide who would support them through this difficult job. However, as bugs were jammed into Nella's helmet, she was unable to handle the pressure, so the YouTuber pulled her emergency cord to terminate the trial. Grace shouted, There's one in my ear, and triggered the alarm as well. 
One is within my ear. I hear it, and it's not pleasant. Grace was examined by the medic after the challenge, who successfully flushed it out and verified its removal. Grace opened up about her personal life before going into the jungle. She said she had lost both of her parents in the last four or five years, and that she thought this would make her stronger on the show. The celebrity acknowledged that she had been through a really difficult time following the death of her mother to cancer and her time caring for her father, who had dementia, before they both went away. Now that I am older, life is for living, which is one of the reasons why I said yes, she remarked, acknowledging that this would be a significant challenge. Grace is no stranger to the public eye. In 2020, she wrote in The Guardian on her father's struggle with dementia, saying, There is so much I want to say to Dad, but I can't bring myself to... I don't like to be left alone with Dad. Dementia is really awkward. It's not just painful and frightening, but embarrassing. But occasionally, I can detect fear in his eyes. Now and then, when Dad speaks... His brain catches up halfway through a nonsensical sentence, and that's when he realizes how completely absurd what he's saying is, and pure shame crosses his face. Grace, who was raised in Carlisle, attended Stirling University to enhance her studies and earned a degree in English literature. Dent began her journalism career as a feature writer for Cosmopolitan during her time in college. She had a very successful writing career after dropping out of college. She first worked as an editorial assistant for Vogue before going on to freelance for a number of magazines, including Marie Claire, Glamour, and others. In addition, she wrote about television for a dozen years, from 2000 to 2012, before joining The Independent. She contributed a restaurant column for the Evening Standard called Grace and Flavor for six years. The Guardian is the current employer of the food critic. Grace frequently judges people's food on TV programs. You may have seen her on MasterChef, The Professionals, Celebrity MasterChef, and MasterChef UK. She also served as a judge on the BBC's Great British Menu program. Grace, however, isn't just in the kitchen. She's been on a lot of shows, such as Very British Problems, The Apprentice, You're Fired, and the now show on Radio 4. The Culinary Reviewer has also been on Charlie Brooker's Screenwipe, The Culture Show, Alan Davies, As Yet Untitled, Pointless Celebrities, and the review show film 2012. In addition, Foodie Grace has written many books over the years. In 2008, she was included on the Queen of Teen Prize shortlist. Her teen fiction includes The Diary of a Snob, Diary of a Chav, and LBD series. How to Leave Twitter, My Time as Queen of the Universe and Why This Must Stop, was the title of her debut non-fiction book, which was released in 2011.